Hi guys, this is Watsy playing Boom Beach and today we're going to be attempting to solo an operation. Now, I've had a look at Gambit and I think this is probably the easiest for my tanks and... No, that's not right. What? I've forgotten which one I was looking at. Right, I was looking at XL and this is what I'm going to try solo. So, I've got Tanker Medic trained, so I think this is probably going to be the easiest one for Tanker Medic. So, I'm going to deploy the tanks first because I don't want those medics to get shut up. So... Now I'm going to drop the medics at the left hand side and they're going to run and start healing up my tanks. So I need to try and clear out those rocket launchers without getting shot by the cannons there. So I'm just going to go to the left hand side of the rockets. And I don't mind being shot at because obviously the medics are going to heal them straight up. So it shouldn't take long to take those down when they all start firing at them. And they're pretty much gone. There we go. So they're all going, I suppose, this right sort of way for me. They're not going towards the right where that cannon is. One of them is, so I'm just going to smoke him up. And send him over the left-hand side there. So I'm going to throw some critters down, just to try and clear out them boom mines. And they've done a really good job at that. There we go. So we'll let them take a few more of these power cores. And then we're going to send them just over here near the mines because I need them to take out these rocket launchers and then start taking out these cannons now I've got loads of gunboat energy which is good so I'm just going to send them directly on that rocket launcher so that they go for those just shocking the cannons in preparation because we are going to get shot by them we don't have a choice in that so one's gone down so now I'm going to shock these ones over here and why that rogue, ca rogue tank is he's doing now, I don't know, so I'm just going to send him over here, throw another shock down on those cannons, keep them shocked, because otherwise they are going to obliterate us. So I'm just going to throw down some artilleries on those. There we go, we took them down. So that was a lucky guesstimation amount. So now I'm just going to send them back over the left a little bit, just because I don't want them going near that cannon where it's going to end up probably one-shotting us. It, well, it won't necessarily one-shot us, but by the time it's sh shot and I've managed to throw down a heal or a shock, it's probably done another shot where it's taken me out. So now I need to shock those cannons and throw down a couple of barrages. In fact, I'm just going to throw a third barrage down as well, just because I can. And he's gone down. So now I'm just going to send them straight in the middle here and we're going to take down this base before the time runs out. Or well, that's the idea anyway. I don't know if that's definitely going to work, but it should. We should have enough damage to sort that. So I'm going to use the last artillery on the base. And yeah, there we go. It only took, what, 40 seconds to take that core down when we were firing on it. Not very long. So yeah, brilliant. That's XL soloed. So that's a, a big sort of relief for our task force. The thing is, when you're in a five-man task force and you're taking down bases with like four bases, you know, one of you makes a mistake, it's not too bad, but two of you make a mistake and then that's it, you can't complete the operation. So it's good to make sure that you solo the first couple um, because then you leave the harder ones where if you do need two attacks, you know, there's a bit less pressure off the other person. So anyway, guys, really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.